Hi guys, today we're gonna to be looking at how to remove the grill off of a 2015 Sierra. What you need to do is pop the hood, and then you're gonna be removing these clips here. And then they're gonna look like this. That's how they are when they're in there. That head is pushed down, and then you pop it up, and it's gonna like that, and then you can pull it straight out. So you're gonna do it to all of these clips here. Um, I've already done those ones, but you're gonna have to do it to the rest of them. All right, so they do make tools that are specifically for taking these pieces out. I don't have those, so I'm just gonna use screwdrivers because they work just fine. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take one, push it in here, and then you're gonna take the other one and slip it in beside it. And you're gonna be lifting it up while you're slowly coming around the sides here. And that's just gonna eventually pop it out. And now it's popped, take it below it, and then it comes out just like that. And you wanna do that to the rest of your clips. Now, if you want it to be a little easier, then you can just go buy the tools. Um, I just don't really care too much about buying them because this works just fine. And it does the trick, so there's no point in me wasting time going to town and buying tools when I have everything right here. So now all those bolts are removed. You can just go ahead and lift up on the corner here and lift up this entire piece that is covering all of your bolts in there. Then you just go ahead and take this, set it off to the side. And then you're going to expose your four 10 millimeter bolts that you need to do, which are all gonna be right there. All right, so the next step, we're gonna be taking this plastic piece out so we can get to the bolts that are under here so we can get the grill out. Now your next step, you need to remove this bolt here so you can pull back the fender flare and then you are going to have another bolt up here to remove this piece here on the side. So you need to remove that first. And there's that bolt. All right, so now you just need to take this and pull out because there is a clip back here that needs to be popped. And you are going to have to use some tension. Mine's been taken off a couple times so they're easier to pop. Yours might be a little harder than that to pop off. So uh, don't be afraid to break it. Um, just pull straight out and there are clips right up in here and they will be popped. From here, you need to pull this back and then it's going to be right here and it's going to be pointing up. So you might have to get an extension on and then go ahead and start taking that off. and that's gonna be the exact same bolt that came out of the other one. Now that that's popped, you should be able to come right here and pull this out. And it's gonna be hard just like your other ones, but it will pop out and now that that's popped out. All right, so we just did the same thing on this side, pulled this off, took the screw under here, and then you're just gonna pop this out on this side. All right, so I just pulled this a little bit harder. You just have to put a little bit of force on it, not too much because you don't want to break it, but it is going to feel like it's kind of going to break, but you need to pull straight out just so you can get these clips popped out. And it's going to be the same thing for here. You're just going to pull out to get all them clips undone. So then we can work under the truck and get the rest of the clips done. All right, so now we have those clips up top done. Now we have to find these ones here. We need to push this tab up and we're going to push out as we're doing it. We're gonna do it to each one of these tabs. It's a little dirty down here, so it makes it kind of hard to see, but you're lifting these tabs to get over this clip, and then you're pushing out to get that piece out. All right, so now you want to do is lift up these clips. We're gonna start with this one here, and while your right hand is outside holding that piece of plastic, you're gonna pull out with your right hand and lift and push with your left hand. That's gonna slowly get that to pull out.
there you go. That entire front piece is off now. Go ahead and lay that off to the side. And now you have access to all your bolts here on the bottom. You're gonna have these bolts and you're gonna take them out to get the grill. Just be careful with this because this is uh, pretty fragile. It can scratch pretty easily. Um, so make sure you guys just set that off to the side on some cardboard so it doesn't get hurt. And now we can get on to actually taking the grill itself off. All right, so now we need to remove these bolts so we can get the grill off. And there's the bolt. Now you can finally get to the four bolts here on top to get to remove this grill. Those are the same bolts there. You took the bolts off, you can now pop the grill off. It's just gonna be as simple as grabbing it and pulling, and that pops the clips, and then pull the grill straight off. And there it is. Set that off to the side. All right, so there you go. That's how you take off your grill. It is an insanely long process just to get that off. All I wanted to do was get access to these so I could take these off. I'm getting a new truck here soon. I didn't want to have those on when I took it in. Um, just make sure you guys follow those steps and to put it back on, just do everything in the opposite order and you'll be able to put those back on. Uh, just make sure you guys don't pull too hard on things or get impatient. You'll start to break things and that's the last thing you need to do. Um, you guys can clean things from here. I'm going to actually pressure wash all this because this is a mess and I don't want to take it back looking like this. But uh, it's an easy way to clean everything, get access to the front of your truck. And uh, it's a little long process, but if you guys know how to do it, it's not too bad. Thanks.